Hello everyone, this is Tim from Flare Fabrication and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a brand new product from Cloudray Laser, which is their new X-Series Fiber Laser Protective Cover, also known as an enclosure. This is a brand new product for them. I'm really excited about it because there are fairly few uh, laser enclosures on the market for fiber lasers. And I'm personally a very big proponent of always covering up your fiber laser with an enclosure. Um, we'll talk a little bit later about why that's important, so stick around for that. Now this protective cover is actually designed to pair with Cloudray's new GM100 series fiber laser. Um, so it's a little bit more plug and play with that laser. However, this enclosure will work just fine for any of Cloudray's split fiber lasers. And when I say split fiber lasers, I mean that's a fiber laser where the laser source is separate from the laser head and tower. So any of their lasers where those two are combined into one package, I don't believe this enclosure will fit. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into this thing. All right, so I think the first thing worth noting uh, getting into this box is just how well packaged it is. Uh, if you take a peek in here, this cardboard box is exceptionally thick. Everything was wrapped up really nice. There's tons of foam padding. Um, I've really noticed that Cloudray has been doing a superb job of packaging all their products lately. So rest assured, this thing definitely will not get damaged during shipping. All right, so here we've got everything out of the box. We've got the cover itself, the uh, top lid for the cover. And then we have a couple accessory bits. This is the kind of accordion piece that you put in the behind there um, so that the laser head can move up and down and still make a seal in the enclosure. And it looks like we have a vacuum adapter for a fume collection. So the last thing we have here is this group of cables. And as I understand it, you can use these cables to connect to the interlock of the housing. And so what that means, this housing has an interlock system where essentially you can hook it up to your laser uh, and set it up in EasyCAD such that when you open the door of the enclosure while the laser is running, it will shut off your laser. So it's an additional safety function that a lot of professional grade lasers have. So it's really cool that they have these cables added here so that you can actually retrofit the interlock function for uh, a different laser. Because I was originally under the impression that the interlock function would only work with the, uh, the GM100 series laser. But it seems that if you do the electrical work and actually do the retrofit, you can still use the interlock function with uh, any of their existing lasers, which is really cool. So one really cool feature with this laser cover is that it's actually foldable. So you can see right now it's in its folded down configuration. So if you're somebody who is often traveling with your fiber laser, uh, it could be a big benefit to you. The other benefit is that there's just not really much assembly work to do. So super easy to set up. I'm gonna do my best to be graceful with this. We can set it upright and then just pull it out. You can see it folds right out like that. And then we just take our cover here and throw that on top. And yeah, just like that, it's pretty much all assembled. So very minimal assembly. There's a couple more parts you do have to add on, but it's a lot easier than most other uh, laser enclosures. And it ships in a nice small package as well. So some of my first impressions with this enclosure, uh, first thing is that I really like the finish they have on it. It's, it's a really nice kind of textured finish. Um, it's sort of a satin look. I think it looks really nice, really premium. I think it'll pair well with my lasers. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, also, I noticed that on the front here, so it does actually have OD6 Plus certified laser safety glass. Um, now that essentially just means that it is safe to use and safe to view your laser through the safety glass. Um, 
that stuff, that stage glass is really expensive, so that's part of the reason these enclosures are a little bit more, is when you have that real laser safety glass on it, it will really up the price, uh, but you get what you pay for there. Now, one thing I did notice as I was taking this out of the box and getting it set up here, I had a few uh, small nuts that actually fell out of here. It looks like they came loose from some of the hinges. So just be careful when you're taking out of the box. It seems like they probably just shook loose during shipping. So I'm gonna have to put those back on, but something just to be careful for. So CloudRay does include a nice user manual along with their cover, which is quite nice. Um, now, one thing I did notice as I was paging through here was that they make mention of a laser enclosure for an 800 millimeter lift tower as well. So as of recording this video, they didn't have an 800 millimeter version on their website, but it sounds like it's possible that they could be releasing one as well. The user guide also has instructions for a couple of other assembly steps that need to be completed. The first being attaching the fume duct, and then a second being attaching these small support brackets, which you need to go inside the enclosure. So we'll go ahead and get those attached here next. And I also noticed they have a note here which says that the enclosure is suitable for lasers with a workbench width of 350 millimeters. So to make it sound like if you have a laser that has a working area with a platform of 350 millimeters wide, this enclosure should fit onto it. So I noticed that on the laser safety glass, there's actually a protective plastic film that they put on here as well. And in order to remove it cleanly, you actually need to remove the panel here with these screws. So I'm gonna do that quick and get that taken off before going any further. While I was removing the film, I noticed that you don't actually even need to fully take off these retainers. Since they're slotted here, if you just loosen them up, you can slide these retainers up and down just enough where you can actually pull the whole glass out. So that's a nice touch. They can actually stay in place. All I gotta do is loosen the screws. Then you can pull this thing out, take off the plastic and put it right back in. Now the next part of the assembly for the enclosure is installing these four brackets on the inside. Now these brackets essentially just hold the enclosure in place on your laser and sort of captivate it on there. Now I didn't show the process of installing these because it's pretty straightforward and also because my camera died. Moving along back, we just have three screws in this fume extraction duct that gets screwed right onto the enclosure. I went ahead and added my own washers because I felt like they were necessary, but there aren't any that come with this kit. All right, so now the last piece to install is gonna be these little accordion covers here. So these two guys are gonna go one at the bottom and one at the top within the slot in the rear part of the laser enclosure. And they just have a little bit of uh, double-sided adhesive on them that hold on some Velcro. And so you'll just pull that off and then stick them on the top and bottom and then also stick it to your laser head so that when your laser head traverses up and down, these will keep the back of your enclosure fully covered. You can also install these after you have inserted your laser into the enclosure, but uh, for my sake, I prefer just to install them now beforehand. Okay, so at this point, all that's left to do is to slide the cover on top of the laser, and then you're just gonna wanna attach the accordion covers to the laser head, and that way they'll slide up and down with the laser head. And with that, you're good to go. Now, in addition to the door switch that's on this laser enclosure, which you can see located down here, there's actually a built-in light also right along the front here. Now, one thing that's kind of a bummer with this light is that it's wired to the same plug that the door switch is. So in order for the light to get power, you need to wire up the enclosure harness to your laser source. Now, if you're electrical savvy, what you can do is just create your own harness, which will provide 24 volt power to this light switch from the plug that's provided in the back. Uh, it's really not that hard to do, but I still do wish that CloudRay would include something like that for the people who aren't gonna wanna wire up the door switch and just want the light to function. All right, so now I wanna talk a little bit about why would you even want a laser enclosure? So there's a couple of really important reasons on why you should get an enclosure for your fiber laser. 
And the first and most obvious one is protecting your eyes. So I think most people know that lasers are very dangerous for your eyes. So having an enclosure like this is really important for protecting your eyes. Um, and not just your eyes, but the eyes of anybody else that's working in the area. So you might be saying that, hey, well, I can just use the safety glasses that came with the laser. And that's just fine if you're going to be the only person in that workspace. But if you have other people that are working in the area, they need to be protected too. So for me, having an enclosure is indispensable because when other people are walking around, I want to make sure that they're also protected from the laser. Now, the second reason is going to be fume extraction. So this is one that uh, people don't think about quite as often, but just like when you're welding metal, you need good fume extraction because you're creating smoke and metal dust and particles in the air as your laser engraving. And it's really important that you do a good job of extracting those fumes away from you. And again, from everybody else who's working in the area. So a laser should really be taken just as seriously as a welder because it'll create a lot of the same fumes uh, when you're ablating away the metal. This is especially important with certain materials like plastic, uh, painted materials, and anything that's zinc coated because um, they can create some particularly dangerous, dangerous fumes that uh, need to get extracted. So when you have an enclosure like this, it really helps to contain all of the fumes within the enclosure and make sure your fume extraction does the best possible job of pulling them away from you and never releasing any of the fumes into the uh, nearby environment. All right, so a few closing thoughts on this laser enclosure. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think the build quality is really good. The finish on it is really nice. It's cool that it can fold up. I probably won't be really using that feature much, but if you're somebody who's traveling with this, having the ability to fold it down could be really helpful. Um, it also comes with certified OD6 Plus laser safety glass, which in other words, just means that it is very safe laser glass. Uh, there are some knockoffs out there you need to be careful of, but this one is certified and it's marked right on the front there. And so all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, the price is a little bit higher, but I think you're getting a really good package. Um, and I think it's something that is gonna be very, uh, So the price is a little bit higher, but I think you are getting a really good high quality laser enclosure. And it has a couple extra features that other enclosures don't, such as the built-in light and the door switch, which is really cool. So I would definitely recommend this enclosure to people who are looking to make their laser more safe and don't already have an enclosure. Um, I think it's a huge upgrade for safety for your laser. And again, I recommend that everybody get an enclosure on their laser, even if it's not this, even just covering up your laser with something is going to be a step in the right direction. But if you want to really make sure that your laser is going to be as safe as possible, then getting an enclosure like this is really going to be the way to go. So Cladray does have some resources of their own for this enclosure um, in regards to how to set it up, how to assemble it, as well as how to do the wiring if you do want to wire in the harnesses for the door switch and the lighting. So I'll go ahead and link those in the description below. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you could learn something today about laser enclosures. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.